day. Uh, it's been a little bit longer than I wanted to uh, talking to you guys. I filmed music videos. I've traveled. We've been from Michigan to Colorado to everywhere, like say, literally everywhere that we could be. Um, I've documented a few things along the way, but that's not what I'm here to talk to you guys about. I'm here to talk to you guys about the excitement of finally capturing that image or that video that you've been just looking at and you've been wanting to just get that image man like so we went to the north shore during peak season the north shore of lake superior by duluth all the way up to canada uh grand portage is the last minnesota city before canada where you hit the border but what a time we ended up meeting my buddy brian out there we were going to meet him we were at one location and uh we didn't end up meeting him there he went to another location at another uh place at that particular place that he hiked to and we didn't meet him there so we went all the way to Grand Portage, and then we came back down to around uh, Lutzen, and um, we met him at another location. We ended up hiking all the way up to a viewing platform, a beautiful, beautiful viewing platform. And I will say I have got one of the bucket shots I wanted that I didn't even know that I wanted. Uh, he showed me one of these locations, and just what a beautiful view. We hit it around maybe 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. We had the sun glaring. I mean, here's the image. I mean, look for yourself. It's just beautiful. But then also we have other pictures where we get drone footage and photos of the Arthur M. Anderson, which is one of the ships that I wanted to see. So we perfectly timed. We were at Split Rock. The ship was 700, 800 yards out there. And uh, you just see a very, very tiny ship out in the distance. And then we go to Two Harbors and it's right there, ready to pull in. And uh, just honestly, one of the bucket shots that I have wanted for a long time. Now, am I done? getting photos of that ship am I done getting photos of any ship hell no I'm always gonna chase this uh, it's one of my passions uh, I'd call it an obsession that's what Brian would call it but it's just so I got two bucket shots that out of that whole trip I took maybe 500 to a thousand photos but out of that whole trip I you know spending all that money you know planning all that two two photos that you know at the end of the day I can hang on my wall and I'm like damn that's incredible but then also yesterday we went to the Minnesota Harvest Festival and Maze. I'm not going to tell you guys to do this. Uh, I went in there. I looked for drone policies, you know, anything. Uh, while we were walking out to our car, since I didn't see anything, I took my drone up. I flew it. And that's the last video you guys saw. Uh, taking two clips of going towards it and going around it. But the point of this is that when you you know get your camera out you know get your drone out get whatever equipment you have out you get your gopro out and you've thought about this for a long time and you know all you want is that one shot you know the one you've seen online the one you've seen on google and when you finally get it when you finally you're looking at your screen and you're like that's it probably can but for photography if you're really out there to get the image or if you're really passionate enough you don't have to have the best gear you don't have to have anything you could have an iPhone I've seen amazing images on iPhones but uh but yeah capturing the image is super powerful and that's all I really had for you guys I just wanted to sit down and talk about uh, you know, finally capturing some of these images I've had in my head, some of these things. Uh, go check out the music video, uh, Lil Sensei's Chosen One Cypher, Volume 1. We're not done with that series. This is the first year we did it. Uh, I'm so thankful to have the whole team and uh, the artists, everyone that we worked with. Uh, they're awesome. We really, you know, we didn't have a plan going into it, but we made it work. And I'm really proud that we were able to make it work so well with the short amount of time we had three hours four hours to shoot all of this stuff at you know we parked at one location and then we moved and it, it worked not how i would like to do it but it worked 
Also, guys, I have uh, a shop now. So if you guys would please go check out jsoupmedia.smugmug.com. Go check out my images. You don't have to buy anything. But if you do buy it, you're supporting me in a big way. And I'm looking forward to creating more images in the future. Check out some of these great images we've captured. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, more content like this coming soon. I'm actually really liking my setup, what I've done. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Keep creating. Keep doing shit. Stay positive, stay hungry. We'll see you later, my friend.